Welcome to the Know Yourself channel, where making astrology known and understandable is the number one priority. I'm the Scottish astrologer, and in this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the planet Saturn. Okay, Now, Saturn is the most elevated or supreme of all planets. It performs its annual revolution around the sun in 29 years, 167 days and 5 hours of our time. Saturn is in retrograde for 140 days and is stationary for 5 days before and for 5 days after its retrogradation. Retrogradation, sorry. Now Saturn in nature is cold and dry and is a melancholy, which is depressive, earthy, masculine, diurnal, solitary, malevolent planet. When Saturn is the lord of the ascendant on your natal chart, which means he is the ruling planet of the zodiac sign that is rising at the time of your birth, or if Saturn is the ruler of the natal chart, which I'll make a video showing you how to find the ruler of a natal chart very soon. Okay, so if Saturn is the ruler of the natal chart, or the ruling planet of the sign that's in your ascendant on your birth chart, he produces someone of a middle stature, with a swarthy, dark or pale complexion, a broad forehead, lean face, small, leering black looking eyes, lower in brow, thick nose and lips, with large eyes, eh, large ears, sorry, black or brown hair, dark brown hair, thin beard, broad shoulders and small, lean legs and thighs. But please keep in mind this is all in general and the whole natal chart must be taken into consideration as things can slightly offset the descriptions given like aspects etc. Okay, So please keep that in mind. Now if Saturn is well dignified at the time of birth which means he is in a sign or house etc that is beneficial for Saturn then Saturn will produce someone with an acute and penetrating imagination. They will be austere in conduct, reserved in words, very spare in speaking and giving, patient in labour, grave in arguing and disputing, studious and solicitous in obtaining the goods of this life, constant and unequivocal to friends and partners, inexorable and rigid in resentment or prejudice. But if Saturn is ill-dignified at the time of birth, okay, which is the opposite of being well-placed in a sign it likes or house it likes, it would be in a sign it dislikes or house it dislikes being in, etc. Okay, so if Saturn is ill-dignified at the time of birth, it will produce an envious, sordid, mistrustful, covetous, sluggish, cowardly, false, outwardly dissembling, stubborn, malicious person who is always dissatisfied with themselves. When Saturn is oriental at the time of birth, the human stature will be shorter than usual, and when occidental at birth, the stature will be thin, lean and less hairy. When Saturn is the significator of travelling, okay, which means when Saturn is the ruling planet of the zodiac sign which occupies the ninth house on a natal chart, then he creates long and laborious journeys, dangerous adventures, and even a danger of imprisonment, okay, if Saturn is also well placed, etc. Saturn governs the spleen, bones, the right ear, the teeth, joints, and retentive faculty in man. Saturn rules everything bitter, sharp, or acrid, okay. Now, diseases under Saturn, okay. Because there are certain ailments, diseases in man that are controlled by certain planets, okay? Uh, and these said ones, these said diseases or ailments in man that are ruled by Saturn are toothache, leprosy, depression, fallen sick, black jaundice, pains in the limbs and joints, gout, rheumatism, hemorrhoids, deafness, insanity, palsy, consumption, shin cough, fractures, apoplexies and all phlegmatic humours. 
and in conceptions he rules the first and the eighth months okay now also plants and herbs under Saturn now every single plant and herb on earth is governed by a specific planet okay now this is a true key to alchemy okay knowing what diseases are ruled by what planets and zodiac signs and knowing what plants and herbs are governed by said planets having a full knowledge of astrology uh, and being able to identify medical ailments on a natal chart on top of understanding everything I've just mentioned here diseases ruled by certain planets and herbs and plants ruled by certain planets then you will be able to perform alchemy true alchemy turn your lead into gold it's all about keeping the body spirit mind and perfect uh, health synchronicity and unison okay like there's a solar system within every single man and woman as above so below as without so within like people would call them your seven chakras or whatever but it's just seven planets okay you have a solar system within you and if your solar system isn't uh, harmonious or synchronous then it will cause ailments and health disorders in humans okay so I will make a video going in depth about all this but just so you know what I'm talking about when I'm telling you Saturn governs certain plants and herbs just so you know exactly what I'm talking about okay so plants and herbs under Saturn okay are the beech tree, bifoil, barley, fumitory, bistort, bird's foot, buckshorn, vervain, spinach, bear's foot, wolfbane, sage, box, the opium poppy, fern, angelica, tamarind, rue, caspers, willow, the yew tree, the cypress tree, the pine tree, also hemp, wild uh, campins, cleavers, which are also known as sticky willies, pilewort, clown's woundwort, cudweed, comfrey, crosswort, dodder, darnel, elm tree, epiphyamum, <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right, osmond royal, fleawort, flixweed, goutwort, wintergreen, stinking gladden, hound's tongue, hemlock, hawkweed, henbane, horsetail, knapweed, knotgrass, medlar, mullein, nightshade, polypody, solomon seal, yarrow, rushes, rupture wort, Kitrach, Saracen's Confound, Service Tree, Tamarisk, Black Fawn, Forowax, Aconite, Agnes, Castus, Starwort, Shepherd's Pus, Mandrake, Black Hellborn, Aurac, and when gathering these herbs, okay, the ancients faced the east in the hour of Saturn when he was rising and officially fortified which means in a reasonably good position in sign and or aspect. And also, on top of all mentioned, the moon must be in a good aspect to Saturn at the time, okay, in a trine or sextile to Saturn. Okay, now, animals ruled by Saturn are the cat, the hare, the dog, the mouse, the wolf, the bear, the crocodile, the scorpion, adder, serpent, toad, hog, eel, tortoise and shellfish and birds we have the crow the bat the owl the crane the ostrich and the blackbird okay now stones and metals ruled by saturn are all unpolished black and blue stones and tin and lead okay now signs and triplicity okay now saturn rules capricorn by night and aquarius by day he rules the air triplicity by day okay now saturday is the day of saturn he rules the first hour from sun rising and the eighth hour of the same day and the first hour of tuesday nights okay now saturn's orb is nine degrees okay before and after any aspect which means his influence begins to operate when either he applies or any planet applies to him within nine degrees of a perfect aspect. And also Saturn's influence continues in force until he has separated nine degrees from any aspect, okay? Now Saturn is in exaltation, which means his best place likes being here most in Libra. 
He's in detriment, which means he doesn't like being there, in Leo and Cancer, and he's in Fall, which also means he doesn't like being in that sign, in Aries, okay? And now the sign that Saturn most joys in is Aquarius. And some people would inquire, well, why does he joy in Aquarius more than Capricorn? Uh, you know, and it's, it's because of triplicity, etc., okay? Like, because uh, Saturn rules the air triplicity, we can, and Aquarius is an air sign, so, and because Capricorn is an air sign, okay, so Saturn doesn't rule the earth triplicity, it rules the air, so with Aquarius being an air sign, it obviously most joys being an Aquarius as it rules that sign and is in triplicity within the element of that sign, okay. Now, the third phase of Taurus, the first phase of Leo, the second phase of Libra, the third phase of Sagittarius, the first phase of Pisces, are all attributed to Saturn, okay? Now, the phases consist of the first phase being 0 to 10 degrees of a sign, the second phase being 10 to 20 degrees of a zodiac sign, and the third phase being 20 to 30 degrees of a zodiac sign. Okay, so that was Saturn in depth. Okay, uh, I thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Uh, if you found any of the information interesting or helpful, please share, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and Please do not forget to hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button so you can get all my future videos. You'll be alerted when I put up future videos if you're interested in the kind of material I put out there on my channel. Uh, so again guys, a big thanks for watching. Hope this helped you out. Uh, sorry I haven't done a video in a long time. I've been madly preoccupied in life. You know how it goes. You just get distracted from what you truly uh, love most of the time so yeah I've neglected this channel for quite a while now been working girlfriend pregnant again quite a lot of stuff going on but I'm getting back into this because I feel it's important uh, to make astrology known and understandable for everyone and that's my true goal in life okay so again thanks for watching guys uh, there'll be another video up soon. I'm going to have a video up here, an in-depth look of every planet. Okay, so again, thanks for watching.